Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's another Mismatch Monday coming your way. Today it's going to be the 1986 Houston Astros, and they will be taking on the 1961 Philadelphia Phillies. The 86 Astros won the NL West, and they were 96 and 66, while the 1961 Philadelphia Phillies were 47 and 107 and last place in the National League that year. Now, if you'll recall, I did a, uh, I did like a tournament of teams two years ago, I think it was. And the 61 Phillies were in that tournament, and it was the same deal. Um, good teams started off against bad teams in the tournament in the first bracket. And the 61 Phillies in the first bracket beat the 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates, the We Are Family Pirates. So this team does have a history of upsetting a better team, but let's see if they can do that with the 86 Astros. Uh, today, the pitching matchup will be Mike Scott for the Houston Astros, and Robin Roberts will be pitching for the Phillies. Um, Mike Scott in 1986 was 18 and 10 with a 222 earned run average in 275 innings pitched. Robin Roberts in 1961 was 1 and 10 with a 585 earned run average. Uh, the lineups, I'll go over the lineups as they come up. The visiting team is the Astros, so their lineup will be Davey Lopes playing left field and leading off, followed by Denny Walling playing third base, batting second. Kevin Smallmouth Bass will bat third and be the right fielder. Glenn Davis is the first baseman, batting in the cleanup spot. Billy Duran will be the second baseman, batting fifth. Um, Billy Hatcher will be the center fielder, batting sixth. Craig Reynolds is going to play shortstop for the Astros today and bat seventh. Andy Ashby will be the catcher, or Alan Ashby will be the catcher and playing uh, and batting eighth. And, of course, Mike Scott in the ninth spot. That lineup, as I mentioned, will face Robin Roberts of the Phillies. So let's get started. Davey Lopes is the first batter. And he gets a 3-7 against a right-hander, and that will be a fly ball center field. He flies out for the first out. And that brings up Denny Walling. And he gets a 4-5. And that will be a ground ball shortstop X. The shortstop is a uh, 2-E-24. That is a 5. It'll probably be on the shortstop's card. Or on the... Uh, it probably won't go to the air rating, but we'll see. It doesn't, and it is a ground ball. So he goes out 6-3, and Kevin Bass is the, er, yes, Kevin Bass is the batter. And he gets a, we're going to call that a 6-11, and 6-11 will be a fly to left. So the Astros come up with nothing, and we go to the bottom of the first inning where the Phillies will send up this lineup. Tony Gonzalez will lead off and be the left fielder. Jimmy Callison will bat second and be in right field. Um, Lee Walls will play first and bat third. Uh, Don Demeter will be the center fielder batting in the cleanup spot. Charlie Smith will play third and bat fifth. Tony Taylor bats sixth and he'll be the second baseman. Ruben Amaro will play shortstop and bat seventh. Uh, Clay Dalrymple will be the catcher batting eighth, and of course, Robin Roberts batting ninth. So Gonzalez is up, and he gets a 2 4, and uh, Scott is a righty, so that is a walk. So the Phillies have the first man on here via the walk, and we'll give that um, that's the first base runner of the game for either team. And Johnny Callison is up. And Johnny Callison gets a 5-8. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Mike Scott strikes out the very next guy. 
Lee Walls is the batter. He gets a 111, and that will be a ground ball third base double play. So no runs come in for the Phillies. We go to the top of the second. Glenn Davis is the batter. I think the next year, was it the next year? He, he was traded to the Orioles. Um, he gets a 411 batting right, and that will be a... That is a ballpark home run. So Davis gets a homer. And uh, the Astros have a 1-0 lead. Billy Duran is up. Billy Duran get, getting a 5-3. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 4-E-0. That is a 5. And that will be a, uh, that's going to be an out. Um, and it's a ground ball. Or wait a minute. Is it a, no, it's, it's, a, it's an out. So he goes out one to three. There was nobody on. One out and Billy Hatcher is the batter. And he gets a three, six, and that is going to be a double. So Billy Hatcher is on with a double. It's another hit given up by Roberts, and all of a sudden he is just falling completely apart, it looks like. Craig Reynolds is up. He was one of my favorite players from the 80s, 5'8". 5'8 uh, is going to be a double, and that knocks in another run. Roberts gives up a hit and a second run and an earned run. And Alan Ashby is the batter. He gets a 310. That is going to be a ground ball first base, two away. And that brings up the pitcher, Mike Scott. And he is going to get a 2 4, and that is a strikeout. First strikeout for Roberts, but the Astros do score two runs and take a 2-0 lead here. And we go to the bottom of the second with Don Demeter up. And nobody on second. That is a 2-4, and that's going to be a ground third. One out, and Charlie Smith up. He gets a 4-4, four, four, and that will be a... Let's see, is he... Yes, he's good power, so that's a home run. Charlie Smith hitting a home run. And, uh... That gets the uh, that gets the Phillies on the board. Tony Taylor. Is up. Tony Taylor gets a three seven. That's going to be a ground ball to second. That's the second out. And Ruben Amaro is up. And he gets a five nine. Five nine is a strikeout. So uh, the Astros got two, and the Phillies come back with one of their own, and the score is two to one. So, so far, the Phillies are hanging. So we're going back to the top of the Astros lineup here in the top of the third with the score two to one Astros, and Davey Lopes up. Davey Lopes gets a 2-8. Against a righty, that is a ground ball short. He's out 6-3, and Denny Walling is up. And that is going to be a 5-6. Batting left, 
that is going to be a single. Fourth hit allowed by Roberts and Kevin Bass up. He gets a 110, and that will be a that is a ballpark single, and he would be batting left, and uh, so that would be a single. Fifth hit allowed, allowed by Roberts. Roberts is, uh, he's not long for this game, I don't think. Glenn Davis is up. He gets a 4-4 batting right, and that's going to be a ground to the shortstop. He is a 2-E-24. That is a 2. Uh, that might actually be an on base. It is a single, one base single. So the bases are now loaded. Bases are loaded, and there is only one out. And Billy Duran up. And he gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7, seven. Four, seven, batting left. That is a single double asterisk and scores two runs. Roberts gives up another hit and another two runs. And uh, that will be that will get some action up in the um, Phillies bullpen. And the Phillies will get Jack Baldishan up in the bullpen, throwing with Billy Hatcher at the plate. And he gets a 6-4. That is going to be a fly to center. The center fielder is a 2-E-4. That is a 14. Probably an out. It is. It's a fly ball C, so nobody goes anywhere. Bringing up Craig Reynolds. And he gets a 5-10. Batting left. And that will be a ballpark single. Yes, it is, and it scores a run, another run. And, uh, yeah, and that will be it for Roberts. He goes two and two-thirds, and that will bring in... Baldishan. Now, Jack Baldishan was just a reliever in 61, but he pitched 100 innings. So he should be able to go for a while um, in relief. He is a relief uh, two. So, I mean, uh, three, three. So Alan Ashby is the batter. Um, let's see here. The run scored. I think somebody goes to third. And then, uh, Alan Ashby. And he gets two seven. And Baldishan is a righty. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, righty. And that is a strikeout. So, um, we're going to the bottom of the third. But... The Astros now have five runs on the board, and they lead it five to one. Clay Dalrymple is the batter for the um, for the Phillies. That is a four eleven, four eleven against a lefty. Or, no, against a righty. Um, oh, wait a minute. It's a left-handed batter. And it's a fly ball right. The right fielder for the Astros is a 3-E-5. That is a 19. Probably an out. And it is one away. So 
Now they're going to let Baldishan hit. He is a batting one, so we don't have to change the card. And he gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and he's out. And Gonzalez is the batter, and he gets a 4-3. That is, a, again, he's a left-handed batter. And that will be a fly to left. The left fielder is a 3-E-2. That is a 16, probably an out. And it is. So Gonzalez flies out to left, and we go to the uh, top of the fourth. And now let's see, the Astros got three in the fifth, or in the third, and uh, the Phillies just got none in the third, and we're in the top of the fourth. So we're all caught up now, and the, bat the batter is going to be Mike Scott. And he gets a 110, which is going to be a strikeout. Davey Lopes is up. He gets a 3-5. That is going to be a walk. So Davey Lopes is aboard. And he's going to try to steal. That's why he's in the game. 13, he is a stealing double A. I don't think they could have possibly gotten him. No, they didn't. So he does steal second. Davey Lopes is up at second, and Denny Walling is the batter, and he gets a 6-3 batting left. And that will be a... He's a left-handed batter. That is going to be a single one base. It was a ballpark single. Kevin Bass is up. Kevin Bass gets a 5-6. Uh, batting. He, is a, he, he would be batting left. And that's a walk to load the bases. The Astros are just all over the Phillies here. I mean, you know, I guess you couldn't have expected anything different. So the bases are loaded with only one out. Is that right? It is. And Glenn Davis is the batter. And that is going to be a 5-9 batting right. That is a fly to center field. It's a center field B, so it does score the runner from third. And the Astros have another run. And Bill Duran is up. And he gets a 4-7 batting left, and that's a strikeout. And uh, the Astros get another run in the fourth, so they now have six runs. And they lead 6-1. to one. Johnny Callison is the batter for the Phillies. They need five runs to catch up here, which is seems unlikely against Mike Mike Scott. Johnny Callison is the batter. He gets a 5-10, and that is going to be a walk. So Callison is aboard. And what is he stealing? He is a stealing B. They're not going to try it because they're down by too many runs. They need base runners and runs. They don't need to be stealing bases. Lee Walls is the batter. He gets 4-6. And that will be a single double asterisk. And now the Phillies have something going. They've got runners at the corners with nobody out. And Don Demeter is up. And that's a 2-8. That'll be a strikeout. Only the second strikeout that I've got from Mike Scott. And uh, Charlie Smith is a batter. He gets a 2-6. That's going to be a ground ball second base C. That'll move all the runners over and score one run. But it's the second out of the inning.
and Tony Taylor is up. And he gets a 1-7. That is a single. That's a one base single. So runners are on now at the corners. And I've got that as only the second hit that Scott has given up this game. And Ruben Amaro is the batter. And he gets a 1-6 against a righty. That is, he just misses a home run. It's a fly ball to left. That would have put the Phillies in a decent position, but it doesn't. It's caught at the wall, and the um, the Astro or the Phillies only have two runs instead of possibly four as we head to the top of the fifth. I believe we are now doing. And Billy Hatcher is the batter. He gets a 6-8, batting right. That is a strikeout. Bolishin with his fourth strikeout. And Craig Reynolds is the batter. He gets a 1-7. That is going to be a pop-out to second. And Alan Ashby. And he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. Ballishan strikes out his fifth guy, and they get no runs in the fifth, the Astros do. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Phillies down 6-2, trying to claw their way back here against Mike Scott. Clay Dalrymple I have as the batter. Is that correct? It is. That is a 1-6. It'll be a ground ball to the pitcher. 1-3, and the pitcher is up. We will pinch hit for the pitcher. Baldishan. And the pinch hitter will be Elmer v Velo. And Elmer Velo gets a 5-8. And that'll be a strikeout. And uh, warming up in the uh, Phillies pen will be um, let's see who we're going to get up. Hmm. Well, they've got a whole bunch of starter relievers here. Um, they're going to get Chris Short up in the bullpen. And Tony Gonzalez is the batter. And he gets a 1-9, and that is a strikeout. Another strikeout for Scott. That's his third I've got. Um, even though he had a ton of strikeouts that year. We're going to the top of the sixth, and Mike Scott, speak of the devil, will be the hitter. And he and he will be going up against Chris Short now. He's a lefty, so that's a 5-9 for a right-handed batter. And that will be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the um, Phillies is a 2E24, that's a 6, and he is out. So that is going to be 6 to 3. One down quickly, and Davey Lopes up. He gets a 1 4, that is a fly to left. Oh, wait a minute. It's a fly to center. And Denny Walling is up. And he gets a 6-2 batting left, and that is going to be a ground of the first baseman. The first baseman is a 4-E-19. That is an 11.
and uh, that will be on the E19. We'll roll that. It's an 11. And 11 is an E1. So that's a one base error by the first baseman. And it brings up Kevin Bass. And he gets a 512 batting left or batting right, and that would be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 3E17, that is a 4. 4 and 3, that's a single one asterisk. So the Astros have something else brewing here. Um, and Kevin Bass. And Kevin Bass gets a 5 8. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 3E17. That is a 19. That's probably an out, and it is. And that is three outs. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. Yeah. So the um, Astros didn't get a, did they get a run? I don't think they got a run there. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. With Johnny Callison up. He gets a 6-10. That would be a ground ball third base. The third baseman is a 2E18, that is a 2, that might be a single, that is a single. So Callison has a hit, he's a stealing B, but of course they're down by too many runs to try to uh, steal. Billy Walls is up, he gets a 4-2 batting right, that is a ground ball pitcher B. So there's one out, fielder's choice. And Don Demeter is the batter. He gets a 110. That is going to be a ground ball second base C. That'll move the runner on first over to second. And Charlie Smith. And he gets a 1-9, and that is a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Scott. No runs come in for the Phillies there. We go to the top of the seven. Now the game is moving along because nobody is scoring. And Glenn Davis will be facing... Or wait a minute. Glenn Davis made the last out. Billy Duran will be facing Chris Short. That is a 110. It's a ground ball to the pitcher. Wait a minute. Uh, it's a fly ball center. That's actually what it is. Billy Hatcher is up. He gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven is going to be a single. Second hit given up by Chris Short here, and Craig Reynolds. Craig Reynolds with a 2-10. That is going to be a fly ball to center field. That's two down. And Andy Allen Ashby is up. And he gets a 4-7 batting right. That is a single double asterisk and puts runners at the corners for the pitcher. But Scott is pitching way too well to take him out of this game, even though the Astros have a scoring threat here. Um, they're going to let him hit. And that is a 6-10 for a right-handed batter. And that is a fly ball or a ground ball shortstop. So he is out six three. And the Astros did threaten in the seventh, but they didn't get any runs. We're going to the bottom of the seventh with the score. Houston of 1986 with six runs. The 61 Phillies with two. And Tony Taylor is the batter here in the seventh. He gets a three eight, and that will be a strikeout. See, that's the thing. I mean, Mike Scott is just pitching way too well. That's his fifth strikeout. He's pitching way too well to take him out for a pinch hitter. Ruben Amaro is up. 
Another run would be meaningless, but stopping runs from here on out would be great. And that's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. 6-3 and Dalrymple is the batter. And he gets a 4-7. And that will be a line out to second base. No runs come in. We go to the top of the eighth. Top of the eighth inning. Getting late for the uh, Phillies. Davey Lopes is up. He gets a 4-9 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. That's the first strikeout that Chris Short has recorded, and Denny Walling is up. And he gets a 2-8. That's going to be a ground ball to first. And that brings up Kevin Bass. And he gets a 1-5, and that's a ground ball to first base. And uh, they go quickly in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning with the score again. Uh, Astro 6, Phillies 2, they will pinch hit. The Phillies will for Chris Short. And, uh, yeah, they're, and they're running out of guys that can even hit, really. Um, they're going to uh, pinch hit Bobby Jean Smith. And he is going to get a 2-7, and that is going to be a single. So Bobby Jean Smith gets a single to lead off here in the eighth inning for the Phillies. Only the third hit allowed by Mike Scott and brings up Tony Gonzalez. And he gets a 1-9. That is a strikeout. Gonzalez has been up four times. Or, yeah, yeah. Four plate appearances. He walked once and struck out two out of three times. And Johnny Johnny Callison is up with one down. 6-10 for a lefty. That's going to be a ground ball third. The third baseman is a 2-E18. That is a 9. We're going on the E18. That is a 5. And that is going to be a one-base error by Denny Walling. So they've got two men on. And Lee Walls is the batter. And he gets a 6-8 batting right. That's a strikeout. Two away. Seventh strikeout for uh, Mike Scott and Don Demita is the batter, and he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a single double asterisk and score at least, well, it will score one run. And the Phillies do get another run. Mike Scott is showing some chinks in the armor here. And Charlie Smith is up. And Charlie Smith getting a 4-10. And that is going to be a strikeout. Scott with his eighth strikeout. But another run does score for the Phillies in the eighth. And they cut the lead in half now to 6-3. They're making it a valiant effort. You got to say that. We're going to the top of the ninth, and we have to get another pitcher. Chris Short has to come out of the game because he was pinch hit for. And they will bring in John Buzzhart to pitch. Glenn Davis is the batter that he'll face to lead off, I believe. Yes, it is. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. And uh, that is going to be a double. So Glenn Davis with a leadoff double here in the ninth. And Bill Duran. Bill Duran with a 2-2. Two -two. It's going to be a line out second base max. So that's a double play. 
which brings up Billy Hatcher with nobody on and two down. And he gets a 2-5, and that will be a line out to third. So here it is. This is the bottom of the ninth. It's all up to the Phillies to try to get three runs right here to tie. Mike Scott is... Actually, they're going to take Mike Scott out. I'm going to say let's take Mike Scott out of the game. And... Uh, They will put in Dave Smith. Dave Smith in 1986 was one of their better relievers. He was 4 and 7 with a 273 earned run average. And he'll face Tony Taylor. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that will be a single. So Tony Taylor leads off with a single. Let's see if they can make this uh, comeback happen. And Ruben Amaro, he gets a 2-9. 2-9 is going to be, he is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball double play. So probably not going to happen. And Clay Dalrymple is the hitter. And he gets a 6-11. And 6-11 will be a fly ball to left. The left fielder is a 3. E2, that is a 16. Probably going to be an out. And it is a fly ball A, and that is going to be it. And your final score here is the Astros 6 and the Phillies of 1961 3. 6 to 3. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.